William Morgan presents his new sport Mintonet to the world at Springfield College, Massachusetts, later renames it Volleyball. William George Morgan, January 23, 1870, December 27, 1942, was the inventor of volleyball, originally called Mintonet, a name derived from the game of badminton which he later agreed to change to better reflect the nature of the sport. He was born in Lockport, New York, U.S. He met James Naismith, inventor of basketball, while Morgan was studying at Springfield College in 1892. Like Naismith, Morgan pursued a career in physical education at the YMCA. Influenced by Naismith and basketball, in 1895, in Holyoke, Massachusetts, Morgan invented Mintonet a less vigorous team sport more suitable for older members of the YMCA but one that still required athletic skill. Later Alfred S. Halstead watched it being played and renamed it Volleyball, because the point of the game is to volley the ball back and forth over the net. In 1985, he was inducted into the Volleyball Hall of Fame as the inaugural member. William George Morgan graduated from high school at Northfield Mount Hermon School and moved on to attend the YMCA International Training School, later renamed Springfield College, in Massachusetts with James Naismith, the inventor of basketball. Both Morgan and Naismith pursued careers in physical education at the YMCA, Young Men's Christian Association. During the summer of 1895, Morgan moved to Holyoke, Massachusetts, where he continued to work for the YMCA, becoming the director of physical education. With Morgan being the director, it allowed him to devise workout plans and teach sports in depth to the young male adults. Between trying to run classes at the YMCA and creating a new sport suitable for all, Morgan decided it was best that he use his ideas from various sports such as handball, tennis, and badminton, and his own knowledge from sports training methods and experience, to create this new sport. He decided that the game would involve a six-foot, six-inch net in the middle dividing the two separate playing areas and that it would be played on a 30 feet times 60 feet court so that it could be played in gyms anywhere across the nation. After creating some ground rules, William Morgan had to experiment with his game. First, he had to decide which ball to use. A basketball was too heavy while the basketball bladder was too light. After testing all of the balls he had available, he had come to the conclusion that his best option was to ask A.G. Spaulding and Brothers to make him a ball. A young A.G. Spaulding and Brothers equipment designer and master marine cloth tailor, Dale Callahan, developed and produced the first prototype volleyball. Morgan was very pleased with Spaulding and Brothers' work. They created Morgan the perfect ball for his sport, which was covered in leather, with the circumference of 25 to 27 inches. The ball was also the perfect weight for Morgan's sport. The ball weighed 9 to 12 ounces. This new ball that had been made for Morgan's sport was the perfect finishing touch to the basics of the sport. The last thing that had to be done by Morgan was to create a name. Morgan came up with Mintonet as the new name for his game. The first time Morgan revealed his sport to the other directors of physical was at the YMCA located in Springfield, in 1896. He presented his new, creative idea to Dr. Dot Luther Halsey Gullick, director of the Professional Physical Education Training School, and the rest of the YMCA directors of physical education. Dr. Dot Gullick was so impressed that he asked Morgan to present his sport at the school's new stadium. In preparation for his big debut, Morgan created two teams of five men, who would help in demonstrating Mintonet in front of the conference delegates in the East Gymnasium at Springfield College. One of the conference delegates, Professor Alfred T. Halstead, loved the game of Mintonet, but he felt like something was just not right. Professor Halstead suggested that the name of the game should be Volleyball, since the main point of the game was to volley the ball to a player or over the net. Morgan agreed with Halstead's idea and since then the original game of Mintonet has been referred to as Volleyball. 
Morgan continued to tweak the rules of the game until July 1896, when his sport was added into the first official handbook of the North American YMCA Athletic League. On July 7, 1896, the first game of volleyball was played at Springfield College. Morgan died on December 27, 1942.